women work i have got the children to tend the clothes to mend the floor to mow the food to show then the chicken to fry the baby to dry i got company to feed the garden to weed i have got shirts to press the tots to dress the can to be cut i go to clean up this hut then see about the sick and the cotton to pick shine on me sunshine rain on me rain fall softly dew drops and cool my brow again storm blow me from here with your fierce wind let me float across the sky till i can rest again fall gently snow flakes cover me with white cold icy kisses and let me rest tonight sun rain curving sky mountain oceans leaf and stone star shine moon glow you are all that i can call my own respected elders and my dear brothers and sisters today it is an order for me to be speaking again after a long time being here with such honorable people is a great moment in my life i don't know where to begin my speech i don't know what people would be expecting me to say but first of all thank you god for whom we all are equal and thank you to every person who has prayed for my fast recovery and a new life i cannot believe how much love people have shown me i have received thousands of good wish cards and gifts from all over the world thank you to all of them thank you to the children whose innocent words encouraged me thank you to my elders whose prayers strengthened me dear brothers and sisters do remember one thing malala day is not my day today is the day of every woman every boy and every girl who have raised their voice for their rights there are hundreds of human right activists and social workers who are not only speaking for human rights but who are struggling to achieve their goals of education peace and equality thousands of people have been killed by the terrorists and millions have been injured i am just one of them dear sisters and brothers we realize the importance of light when we see darkness we realize the importance of our voice when we are silenced in the same way when we were in swat the north of pakistan we realized the importance of pens and books when we saw the guns the wise saying the pen is mightier than the sword was true the extremists are afraid of books and pens the power of education frightens them they are afraid of women the power of the voice of women frightens them honorable secretary general peace is necessary for education in many parts of the world 
terrorism, wars and conflicts stop children from going to schools. We are really tired of these wars. Women and children are suffering in many parts of the world in many ways. Many innocent and poor children are victims of child labor. Young girls have to do domestic child labor and are forced to get married at an early age. Poverty, ignorance, injustice, racism and the deprivation of basic rights are the main problems faced by both men and women. Dear fellows, today I am focusing on women's rights and girls education because they are suffering the most. There was a time when women's social activists asked men to stand up for their rights. But this time we will do it by ourselves. I am not telling men to step away from speaking for women's rights. Rather, I am focusing on women to do independent to fight for themselves. Dear sisters and brothers, now it's time to speak up. We call upon the world leaders that all the peace deals must protect women and children's rights. A deal that goes against the dignity of women and their rights is unacceptable. We call upon all governments to ensure free compulsory education for every child all over the world. We call upon all governments to fight against terrorism and violence to protect children from brutality and harm. We call upon the developed nations to support the expansion of educational opportunities for girls in the developing world. We call upon all communities to be tolerant, to reject prejudices based on caste, creed, religion or gender, to ensure freedom and equality for women so that they can flourish. We cannot all succeed when half of us are held back. We call upon our sisters around the world to be brave, to embrace the strength within themselves and realize their full potential. Dear brothers and sisters, we want schools and education for every child's bright future. We will continue our journey to our destination of peace and education for everyone. No one can stop us. We will speak for our rights and we will bring change through our voice. We must believe in the power and the strength of our words. Our words can change the world. Because we are all together united for the cause of education and if we want to achieve our goal then let us empower ourselves with a weapon of knowledge and let us shield ourselves with unity and togetherness. Dear brothers and sisters, we must not forget that millions of people are suffering from poverty, injustice and ignorance. We must not forget that millions of children are out of schools. We must not forget that our sisters and brothers are waiting for a bright, peaceful future. So, let us wage a global struggle against illiteracy, poverty and terrorism and let us pick up our books and pens. They are our most powerful weapons. One child, one teacher, one pen and one book can change the world. Education is the only solution. Education first.